Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogtober Day 3. Um, I didn't record a video yesterday because I did a live um, and yeah, I just actually didn't have time to record another video. So I thought what I would do today is I would show you some makeup palettes that I use on a regular basis. Um, if you hear any noise in the background, my daughter's in the other room on a tab and it's raining and I have a fan above my head so I don't know what the quality of this video is going to be. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you the palettes that I use the most when I wear makeup. As you know, I live in Thailand so it does get really hot here. And I don't wear makeup every day because, you know, you just sweat it off. I have found some foundation combination, uh, combinations that work. But, um, yeah, it's, you know, the time is also a thing in the mornings. You know, get your daughter ready for school. Anyway, to the makeup palettes. If you're interested in seeing that, keep on watching. Um, okay, so the first one, which I've had probably... The longest out of all of these is my Morphe palette. Is sorry, my Morphe palette, um, which is this one. It's the 350. It looks like this, and it wow, has a. Beautiful. Here's my daughter. You want to say hi? Come, they can't see you. Say hi. <laughs> so she's probably gonna hang in on this video. She just finished eating. So this is the Morphe 350 palette. And I have money! <laughs> and it has a lot of oranges and warm tones. Um, well, it is a warm tone palette. I, as you can see, if I show you closer, up, you can see my go-to colors over there. Um, but yeah, I do like... Okay, sorry about that. Um, she kind of wanted my attention because I was filming. Um, yeah, so these have the darker colors and I tend to use this when we are going out and it's sort of a night time. Not that that happens often, but I do really like this palette. Um, if you want to see swatches of any of these palettes, just comment down below and I will be sure to make a video. Um, so I'm not going to swatch each one of these. I will sit here for hours and hours. So yeah, um, my favorite colors are these red tones here. Um, and then obviously for the inner corners and that I go with that and the crease colors, I use these matte shades sort of around here. Um, but yeah, I've had this palette for quite a while. I paid a pretty penny for it because in Thailand, you know, there are companies that do sell the original products. But because they ship from America, it becomes quite expensive when they add the shipping costs to it. Okay, so the next palette that I have that I use regularly is my Zoeva um, Taupe palette. This palette is a day palette, in my opinion. I, I'm no makeup artist, I'm just an enthusiast. Um, these are very light shades, so I use this for sort of everyday makeup looks. Um, just for work so because I'm a teacher I can't wear um, dramatic makeup looks with like, wing liners and lashes and stuff I, I can't do that so for regular day-to-day -day makeup I use this palette I do like these purples here yeah, and these shades light shades here yeah. um, but yeah overall I haven't actually dipped into this shade but I've dipped into pretty much all of them yeah, so this is a good one for for day-to-day -day use. I then um, also have this. I do like my warm tones. I do have this Inglot palette that I sort of self-free chose the. How do you, what do you call it? They call it the Freedom palette. So you choose your own shades, and these are all shimmers that I chose um, for this. And we have the brown, like a orangey color, coppery orangey color, sort of a two champagne type colors and obviously a white. Um, so yeah, so this I do use but I sort of use it in conjunction with a Morphe palette and if I'm traveling somewhere then I'll take this with me just for a light makeup. I don't 
going deep with the colors and then the latest one to my collection which i'm really actually enjoying is the nyx perfect filter shadow palette i bought this in bangkok um, we do have nyx stores here and these are the shades I've been playing around a little bit with it with the greens and the purple. Um, I haven't dipped into the gold yet. That's something I'd like to do. And these have how many mattes? One, two, three mattes and six shimmers. There. One, two, three, three mattes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shimmers. Sorry. So yeah, this, this, I mean, I feel like you need to use another palette to help you along if you want to create any dramatic looks with it but it has some good shimmers I am quite p pleased with the quality of the shimmers um, this one swatch uh, I don't know if you can see that and I mean they light but like I said for my my job and what I do it works well um, I also really like this green one <laughs> but uh, it's like a semi dual chrome I don't know if you can see that it's got a little bit of fallout as well it's got like a gold shift to it and you can't see that on this camera but yeah so these are my sort of go-to palettes the other palette that I do use um, from time to time but it's shattered um, my Morphe contour palette. Uh, it's a very sad situation. Um, and the color that I use the most pretty much shattered. Um, I do dip into this cool tone gray color um, for brownie gray color for contour. But the dark brown is too dark for me, so I don't use that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And those are my regular palettes that I use. I do have some smaller ones, the sugar box ones that I have. Um, those are nice for travel purposes. If I'm just going to be going to Bangkok or something, then I take that with me. So yeah, so those are my palettes and I just thought I would show you. I've had some people ask me to show some palettes. If you'd like a full video of swatches on any of these mentioned, um, be free to comment down below and let me know. I did purchase all of this myself. I, as I said, I'm just a makeup enthusiast. I collect makeup. I have a lot of makeup. Um, and if there's anything else you'd like to see, I do have ColourPop collection that I ordered a while ago, and I have them over there on the behind the camera. And I have obviously a lipstick collection and foundation collection. So be, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, that's all for today for Vlogtober Day 3. Um, I do want to shout out um, The Les. The Les is vlogging every day as well for Vlogtober. And Bitching and Eating, they're also vlogging. I'm not sure if there's anybody else. I'll find out. But I'll link their channels down below and you can take a look to the, at their videos. Um, I do want to say that being in Thailand, I know it's Vlogtober, we don't have Halloween here. So I just wanted to take part for regular everyday vlogging and giving you a little bit of an insight into our lives here in Thailand. So yes, if you'd like to follow my journey and my family's journey, you can subscribe down below. If you have any comments or questions or anything you'd like to ask, also please feel free to comment down below. And if you don't mind, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And share this video if you don't mind. And I'll see you again soon. Tomorrow, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Bye.